Hey everybody, check it out. I got some wild cardinals here that I'm trying to adjust. So uh, they just came off of overnight mail. Looks like they're at 77.4 degrees Fahrenheit and 8.1 pH. Uh, I actually stepped that down, if you can believe it, from 8.3. So the person who sent them to me uh, was uh, obviously dealing with hard alkaline and water, water, and it's uh, really impressive that he was able to get these to survive. I, uh, I shipped 100, and uh, I lost only one in shipment. So they seem to be pretty healthy, but uh, overnight is the name of the game, let me tell you. But I just wanted to show you a little bit about adjusting fish. So basically what I'm doing is my water uh, is about the same temperature actually, but it's pH 7.6. So I'm taking this little, this little coffee cup scoop thing right here, as you can see. Okay, and I'm basically coffee cup scooping water from a container of my tank water into this bucket. And, I, you know, I start out really slow. I just put in one and I wait for several minutes and see if the fish react in any negative way. You know, like they're hyperventilating or they're sitting at the surface or whatever. But if they're doing what they're doing, uh, like right now, they're looking pretty alert. They're looking pretty happy. I'm just going to proceed. And if I see problems, if I see somebody lying on their side or something, I'm going to immediately stop and, and let them adjust. And I'm going to keep watching the pH and the temperature. Um, but the other thing I do, and, and this is so important, is as soon as they arrive, uh, right even before I put them in the bucket, I, I put a, a good dose, maybe four or five times what normally would be needed for tap water, a good dose of, of uh, Secam Prime in there to try to eliminate the chlorine and eliminate uh, or neutralize the ammonia, because ammonia builds up like crazy during shipping, even if they're only in shipping for 12 hours. Uh, literally, when you open the bag, you can you can smell the nitrogenous waste, it's pretty gnarly. So um, so it's really important to do that uh, right off the bat because that will save you fish from ammonia deaths while, while you're adjusting them. Um, but you know, with some fish, they're more tolerant, but certainly with cardinals, I want to be absolutely paranoid and just drip them and drip them. And <laughs> given that I'm still stuck at 8.1, he must have really hard water. It's going to take me a while to get to 7.6. Anyway, y'all, I just thought I'd uh, show you this technique that I use. I hope it helps you. See ya.